usually I love sleeping through the thunderstorm, but I feel like in this specific scenario, it's very unwise to sleep through it outside. Best way to catch a boat, 101. Where am I? What's happening? I don't know. I mean, uh, except for the obvious, you're waking up in the middle of the woods. How did I get here? I don't know. And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay, we're gonna definitely make it there. Just hold on to your horses, ladies. Cause we're gonna take a one step at a time There's no need to rush It's like learning to fly Or falling in love Damn, you are soaked And is that a twister? Oh my god, it's a big fat ass twister And obviously there's uh No way down say but wow so that's the town and this fat ass blister is coming through the town i believe yeah let's um let's keep going i guess holy shit that's what i said this twister is dummy thick. It's heading towards the town. Oh, shit. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an what example an of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victor. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. It's literally just a photo. Very Instagram worthy photo, but it's literally just a photo. Like, your self confidence is so fucking low, bro. Calm down. This is just the beginning. Gloria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I haven't She's kept up with my journal as much right. as I should. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Well, let me look through it and I'll tell you exactly what I'm thinking. <clears throat> July 10th, 2013. Holy shit, this is years and years ago. 2013, I was graduating from college. Anyways, I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. Oh my god, really? Anyways, this is Lover of Ladies. Appreciate you tuning in to the first episode of Life is Strange. Thank you for your love support. I'm just reading through this journal to see if there's anything I can basically put my two, two cents in because I just love talking shit. So let's keep reading. Even though I've never been to one, but who cares because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. 
they're so weird but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to blackwell damn you're mad lucky wish i could have that type of convenience when i went to college this means new clothes and if i can work it a new laptop oh and i have to keep telling myself in caps that i am going to blackwell academy August 18, 2013, so this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe would have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would pray pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seems like Seattle was that fabled fairway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. Damn, that sounds so fucking boring. Like, dead ass. That's not even appealing at all. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Or contraire, now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson? Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Yuck, really? Plus, there would be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky. I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th, 2013. Shit is crazy here. With a K, so you know it's extra crazy. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Try saying that twice. Twice as fast. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited I'm cleaning out my room. Though I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts. Aw, bendito. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old max wardrobe. Nobody would know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there would be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. Yo, what the fuck type of drugs is she on? Like... I need the type of, who's your dealer? I, I need some weed, bro. Like, I don't know what you're smoking, but I need it. I just want things to be different at ba Blackwell. September 2nd, 2013, 12.07 a.m. Okay, so basically she's just up all night, not sleeping. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew, I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my doormates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. Yeah, that's me. I'm the type where faces are easily memorable, but not names. Okay, so... I think I can already see who's trying to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd, 2013. Blackwell sucks ass. Oh, really? I guess the grass isn't greener on the other side then, huh? I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn... The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear. 
so I choose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke Taylor Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. I bet Victoria is a Christina Aguilera fan. Like, that's my theory. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back, called the Whambulance. I bet, I bet Max is a Mercy main, because Mercy says stuff like that. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to accumulate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I've never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the cliche action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. Really? I don't know. He has a punchable face to me. He, he looks pretty annoying. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Ew, bro, he's a teacher. Like, stop. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like the honored guest of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. Okay, we got two bitches in the, in the school now. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the beach, the biatches. <laughs> That's funny. Biatches here, like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. Oh, so September 23rd is Max's birthday. That's cute. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest. He wants us all to enter. That photo contest sounds so fucking cliche and booty right now. What the fuck is an everyday hero? The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. 
At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October. So I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Ugh. She would be the one to complain about that, like, really? This, I don't know, this diary is a little bit cringy, but then again, it is from a teenage character that I'm playing, so it's expected. September 30th, I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit, or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life. Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to gauge more. Even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. <laughs> November is. <laughs> November is better. <laughs> November. <laughs> I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. Oh, shut up. This game is trying to be woke already that's so fucking annoying and i can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet soon okay let me borrow the october country but by ray bradbury i haven't read much by him which caused warren to almost revoke my geek card cred before i had up my copy of battle royale but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns the last time i wore a halloween costume was with chloe I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You're so punny, Max. Bro, she's writing a third person about herself? Oh my fucking god. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Wow. Okay, so we got Max here, Kate, Victoria, her teacher she has a crush on, yuck. And all right, let's go. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And capture My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Shut up, I can hear up, the class laughing bro. at me now. It's not that serious. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Okay, but so what's I like the... school. What's the 21st century version of a pencil case? Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Daily selfie because quota? What love the fuck is that? Camera. I should take a quick picture now. You know what, Max? You but should you get struggle, Snapchat. You don't because have beauty without a beat. daily selfie Which quota? Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And shh, shh, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. He is so the pompous. The point remains it's that the portraiture the has always me. been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. He's an art snob. Dinner. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you Not please really. tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Who the Is fuck are you talking to like that? Piece stuff? of shit. Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Go eat a dick, Very bro. good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process 
brought out fine detail in people's faces. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. The first American daguerreotype self I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I can't but believe you complain like about any little even. shit. And I don't see... Oh. And guys, don't Class forget the deadline to submit over. a photo in the Thank Everyday God. Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. God, he's so fucking annoying, bro. Anyways... Whoa, what's going on Victoria with this doesn't girl? waste a second kissing ass. Wait, first of all, let me take a look at this computer. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Oh, shit. This is nice. But anyways, let's take a look, see what's going on with Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. You have Hi, Max. Participating by putting yourself out there in the world. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Wait, did I make it about me? No. Let's talk later, Max. Shit. Fucking asshole. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Anyways, Black Hole Academy. What the fuck? Kate has a porn video and she's a Christian? Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Bitch, you're judging every single detail. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Yo, this camera is worth $5,299. You know how much food I could get with $5,299? And also, Kate, girl, listen. I know what you're thinking. You're stressed out because of your porn video. Well, guess what? Kim Kardashian had a porn video out, and look how rich and famous she is. So don't worry, baby girl. They're just jealous. They're just jealous because they couldn't be in your, your video, okay? All right? Let's talk later, Max. All right, hon. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm leaving. Bye. Ooh, TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't okay. wait to watch some more documents. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Ew, stranger danger. Am I right? The fuck? I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Damn, he now, fought I me. I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. That's because you're like a heart throb geeking over him and for why every time i look at victoria i feel like she's talking smack about me. That's because she a bitch, but it's okay. Kate, damn it. Let's talk later, Max. Bendito, Kate. Okay. I wish I was there to hug you. Girl, it's okay. Like, what's this? Huh. This might make a cool shot. Yeah, let's take a picture. Rachel, wait. Rachel, Amber, forever? That's cute. Alright, let's, uh, let's look at the journal. Oh, that's cute. Well, photographs and all that stuff. All right, let's head on out. I can't stand this class anymore. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you welcome right. to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Like 
I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Are they talking Splash shit about me? I'll fucking fight make them. Make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. By the way, I turned down the music in this game because I'm not trying to get copyrighted or copy claimed. So it's going to be a little bit awkward just watching in silence. So I'm going to input some cliche high school music. You ready? <clears throat> Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Okay, I like how I'm coming up to people and staring at them. Alyssa like, is always nice. texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. She's texting her people, that's why. Come on, bro. Come on. Okay, let me see. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Because she came here to get an education. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Bieber? Irrelevant. Next. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. Oh my god. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. You stay talking shit, Max. I can't wait for you to get bullied. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Are you jealous or threatened? Come on, Max. Come on, man. Stop it. Like, come down. Uh-oh, someone's getting bullied. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. My toxic trait is I'm able to beat up Logan. I, I hate think. bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Well, all he needs to do is get his ass beat by a couple of Latinos and he'll be all set. I wish October would last forever. Girl, same. I love Halloween. It looks like she's been gone for months. So that's Rachel Amber, the one that we saw scribbled on the desk. Let me see what food y'all got. Got any good food? I can't even read this shit. They should just call it a sugar machine. Shut the hell up. That you would stay. be awesome if you put money in there and a bag. Bye. I'm that's done. so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Oh my god, I can't stand this. I wonder what actually happened to her. She's probably dead, gutted. Good thing I left my AK at home. Cut up into pieces. That type of thing. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Because he's been raised correctly. Is that... Wait, I thought that was... Bathroom? Look at this. I just love getting to know all these irrelevant... Secondary He's characters. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Oh my god. He's just a boy. She's just a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Nah, don't do that. You're s don't do that. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Miss Grant? You know what? If she's a science teacher, let's call her Miss Bartholomew instead. I miss you, bestie. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. I weren't either if I had you guys as students. Fucking corny, crusty ass. The fuck is this? There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Sounds like a cult, the way you're Figures talking. Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. He's just doing his fucking job. Max, why are you so judgmental, bro? You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Let me see, let me see. Sad, lonely, depressed? Yep. Come praise with your peers. Bible study. Nah, I'm gay. They'll probably throw holy water at me. Alright, so enough of hearing Max's bullshit and judgment about this whole school. I'm going to head to the bathroom since that's my only other option. So let's let's go and take a fast shit. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies and I'll see you guys next week.